you know. I got to ask you one more thing before we go on to the next thing, which is um, Gandolfini. We lost him too too quickly, too early, too young. I found him as an, a, a very generous, oh, and yeah. much different than he actually what Absolutely. you would think. Well, that was the thing. I mean, everyone thought he was Tony Soprano. And, you know, he was a guy to never go on a talk show. He didn't want to do any of that. And I said, why don't you go pick one? Oprah at the time, Letterman, pick one show and go and show them the real you. I said, that way you shut all that out. I mean, he was a Birkenstock-wearing guy. He was a college graduate. He loved music, very generous, nothing like that. He called called me up one day. And, you know, we needed to put the whole cast together. We were rolling with you guys. You guys were great, but we needed him. And he calls me up. He says, "Uh, you know, I know you want me to do this. Why should I do this? I said, well, he goes, you know, meet me for dinner tonight. So we go to uh, Tribeca Grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For dinner with him. in the middle of. And I, I <laughs> well, mean, he lived right over there. And he, I mean, for about a half hour, I'm already, I'm, I'm already pissing my pants because he's in character. He's busting my chops. And then about 30 minutes in, he goes, look, you know, I don't want to do this. But I don't want to disappoint the rest of the cast. I don't want them to be able to make the money. I know that money means a lot to them. So I'm going to basically do. Whatever you need me to do, as long as the other guys are taken care of the right way. Now, I've only had one or two other people in 30 years at Steiner say that and actually do that. One of them was with Derek Jeter. When we do the team signings, he'd say, look, I'll do the right thing. Well, I'll tell you this. This is what else he did. We did a lot of appearances. We were one of the few shows that to do all these casinos. We did tons, tons. Jim would come. Don't get me wrong. He got paid a lot of money. He he didn't want to do them. He did them for the... There was seven or eight of us going out to yeah. do them. He did them for us. Also, when he had that big contract dispute, he called each one of us into his trailer and gave us $33,333 a piece. 16 people. All the regulars, from Lorraine to Edie to me to Michael, really? gave us a check for $33,000. And this is 2004. You know, that's like buying everybody an SUV at the time. There's a lot of people made and why a lot did he do that? Money. You know, he said, thanks for sticking by me. He was in a bad contract uh, dispute, and uh, th- th- thanks for sticking by me. Another time, I'm in Vegas with him. There's a Vegas slot machine. And they paying me good money to cut the ribbon, and they, uh, then then Jim came on, and uh, they they hired Jim. So it was me and Jim in Vegas, blah blah blah. That night we had to shake hands, you know, and the buyers, whatever. And he wasn't that into it, and uh, and I would say, Jim, this is Brandon, you know, and then, you know, blah blah blah. And the next morning at breakfast, you know, we have the same business agent, and he said, you know, you did all the work last night. Give him ten grand. And I said, no, 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 I, I got paid, I'm fine, I'll give him 10 grand. He was like saying, you know, buy him a beer, you know, get him a soda. And, and you know. He's a very generous guy. Like that, you know. He's such and a good and, guy. and that's the truth. Yeah, but so, so that was the kind of yeah. stuff. And like I said, he didn't want to do the, he wasn't that comfortable. Me, I'm fine with that stuff. Some guys are, he wasn't that comfortable, you know.